Hello. Good morning, Glennis. How is the lockdown going over there? Are you guys studying? Oh, by the way, to all my girls watching this, I do not want to hear that you are not going to be in the exam room, in your final examination room, because you decided to eat that ugly fruit which makes the stomach big and bigger and very big. Please take care of yourselves. I also don't want to hear that you will not be in the exam room because you produced a little organism that you have to take care of during the examination. So please, let us keep our legs and boys, please zip up. Okay? To the girls, know that the effects of eating that fruit, that ugly fruit, is more severe on us. So girl children, girl learners, let us take care of ourselves. And even boys, it is not wiser to be a teenage father. Okay? Because you have to take a lot of responsibilities. For those who have little ones already, I am not blaming you. We all learn through our mistakes. Now it's even the right time to work harder because you have a reason to study very hard so that you take care of that uh, little person. Maybe one day the creator may even ask you in a hoarse voice, why are you just producing uh, little ones that you are not taking care of? So please, let us work hard, let us be focused and let us do our best. Today our theme is let us aim for success. If anybody else can succeed, why not us? We are also having two eyes, two hands, and just like them, it's a matter of working hard. Okay, let us look at our today's lesson. We want to look at how to write an article. Writing an article, I'm going to paste this for you. Just to remind you of our lesson today. Writing an article has become a challenge to most of the learners. I do not know why. Because writing an article is actually one of the easiest tasks. So please pay attention and let us look at what an article is. What do you think an article is? I can hear you whispering. Yes, an article is a piece of writing that can be published or included in a newspaper or magazine or any other documentation. What I'm saying is an article, an article is a piece of writing that can be published or included in newspapers, magazines, or any other kind of work which is written. What should we have in our article? A, an article should have a brief but interesting and eye-catching title. An article should have a title which is very brief. To be brief is to be short. But no matter how short it is, it should be interesting and eye-catching so that our readers are interested in reading our article. Here I like advising you that if you see that your topic is going from 10 words to 15 to 20, that topic is not eye-catching. Try to make it as brief as possible, at least 10 words or less. A title should be brief and interesting to catch the, catch the eyes of our readers. After the title, we need to have the byline. I'm sure by now you know what a byline is. We discussed it in many other continuous writings that we have discussed so far. The byline should follow the title 
and should provide the name of the writer. Who wrote this article or who is writing the article? A date will be also added by the byline, by the name of the writer. The byline follows the title and a date can be accompanying the writer's name. Okay. After our byline, what do we do? Now we are starting our article. And the article should have a lead paragraph. A lead paragraph is also known as an introduction. It tells the reader what the main point of the paragraph is and it can also answer the questions about who, where, what and when. We are talking about the lead paragraph or the introduction which tells the main point of the paragraph. It can also provide answers to the questions who, when, what and where. Okay. After our introduction we have to move on to the body. The body for the article course, not your body. The body should at least consist of two to four paragraphs. Each paragraph should have a topic sentence and supporting sentences or just be guided by the prompts, be guided by the question, the guidelines. What is the question asking you to what are the prompts asking you to answer about? Eh? The body should have paragraphs, maybe two to four there. And each paragraph should have a topic sentence and supporting sentences. Just be guided by the prompts. You know what prompts are by now. is a topic sentence. A topic sentence tells the main aim of the paragraph. If I'm saying that each paragraph should have a topic sentence, I'm saying that it should have a sentence which is bringing out the main aim of that paragraph. And that sentence should be followed by supporting sentences. Supporting sentences give more details support the topic sentence. You are now going into details supporting the topic sentence. This is what I am talking about. After our body, we are moving on to the concluding paragraph. In the concluding paragraph, we do not need new ideas. We do not need new ideas, we are simply summarizing the main ideas in the article or be guided by the prompts. If you have decided to attend to your prompts uh, paragraph by paragraph, then be guided by the prompts, meaning that your conclusion may be as well an answer to the final prompt. Okay. Summarize the points discussed, the main points discussed in the article, or be guided by the prompt. Because the conclusion may as well be an answer to the final prompt. Okay. Good. When you write an article, you really have to try to think of best words because your article may be going to the school magazine, to the local magazine, or to 
A newspaper, local newspaper, which is read by many, many people. You have to try to be outstanding. <laughs> have you seen young girls going for a party? They make sure that they decorate themselves so well, you know, beautiful ribbons, afros, makeup, just like a Christmas tree. Why? Because they want to be outstanding. When they enter, nobody will even look uh, to whatever they were looking at. They will have to turn and say, yeah. So your article needs to be outstanding. When a beautiful girl is gate crushing, to gate crush is to go to a party which you are not invited. They make sure that they really dress to the best of their abilities so that they are not chased away from the party. <laughs> Instead of being chased as a gate crusher, you may even be appreciated for being there because you are dressed to kill. So dress your article to the best of its ability. What do I mean? I mean that you should have beautiful words. When writing your article, choose best collection of words. Know your auntie or your audience. By now you know what audience are. And use best expressions. For instance, use appropriate time words to link your ideas. For instance, you can say currently, nowadays, in the past, at present, formally, until now, a few years ago, and many more. You know, these words sound so good. Currently, when you talk of currently, you should talk about contemporary issues, things which are happening now, or something which is happening at this time that applies to currently, nowadays, and at present. Then, if you are talking of things which happened long ago or some days ago, now you have in the past, formally, until now. Until now is when something has started and it's still progressing. A few years ago and many more. So look at how beautiful these words are to start your sentences or to be in your article. Show views and arguments by using terms such as some people argue that or it can be stated that or it was mentioned that and many others that you can think of. Some people argue that boys are expelling or boys are studying harder than girls or boys are becoming successful easier than girls so you are starting your sentence or you are bringing out your ideas in a correct way you should aim at showing trends by using words such as in general as a rule a large number. A trend is just a fashion, a way of bringing out your words. In general, as a rule or a large number, a large number is affected by drugs and alcohol abuse in most of our schools. Or a small number, or as a rule, learners should adhere to this and that. And that you, you are using beautiful words you are crafting your article so beautifully use discourse markers to show relationships when I talk of relationships I'm not referring to that tall skinny boy of yours no I'm not referring to that uh, uh, good-looking girlfriend of yours no I'm talking about relationships in words when you are writing your article you can use discourse markers such as in addition, however, furthermore, as a result, consequently, and many others. Those are discourse markers. If you bring out one idea and you want to support it, you can say in addition or in addition to that, 
Or if you want to bring more uh, similar facts, you can go to furthermore. Or if you want to tell us how the effects of something may end, you can use as a result or consequently. Beautiful. In your content, ensure that your facts are accurate. Your facts need to be accurate. If you are talking about teenage pregnancy, you cannot define it as it is when people gather and drink alcohol. No ways. Teenage pregnancy should be explained as when a young mother, oh, sorry, when a young girl falls pregnant, when she is not yet an adult. That is how teenage pregnancy is explained. You cannot tell us a lies here. Ensure that your facts are accurate. Recommendations, suggestions, or advice must be realistic. You have to think and come up with reality. Teenage pregnancy, or I suggest that for the young girls to avoid teenage pregnancy, parents should get involved in their uh, children's lives so that they control or find out how they behave, whom they hang out with, and things like that. You are being realistic. So here you must also avoid slang, derogative language, and SMS language. What is slang? Slang is that funny language which you use with your friend. When you want to gossip about somebody, you use slang because you don't want that somebody to understand what you are saying. So that is the, the, the language I'm talking about. Derogative language is an offensive la language which is full of scolding, insults, and it really hurts others. Avoid that. SMS language, shortening of words, cause. I have a problem with cause. People don't want to say because. Everyone do, want to say cause. What is cause? There's no cause. There's because. Okay. Do not shorten languages. Do not use you for you. Why owe you? Please avoid all this. Eh? You may use first or second person pronouns. Here I'm talking about, I hope you know your first person, second person, third person. You know the persons, eh? The, 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 you can use the person such as, uh, pronouns such as I, you, he, she, we, they, me, him, her, us, them. You can use those in your article. I believe that. I strongly support that. Things like that. Please check your spelling. Punctuation, subject verb agreement, and tense. Please, you have to really pay attention to this because this is what you decrease your marks. No matter how good you use, how best you use the format, then you do not adhere to this. Your marks will be deducted. Okay, so apply this when you are writing your, your what? Your article. These are just tips. These are tips on writing an article because we have look at an example of um, how to write an article to a local newspaper. Let us assume that there is a bullying taking place at a certain school. Let it be your school. Write to a local newspaper and in your article you should include the causes of bullying, the transgressions bullies commit and what learners should do when bullied. Okay, we are going to our format. The rule is have a short title, interesting and eye-catching. My title is Bullying, a Threat at Many Local Schools. Yes, the reader or somebody who is reading through that newspaper would want 
to hear what is happening at a certain school or at a certain local school. You are writing to a local what? Newspaper. So local means the surrounding. Okay. Bully a thread at many local schools. I have a space here. Then my, my byline follows by Blackjack, 11 May 2020. I omitted the space or an empty line. Then I start my article. Few days ago, Elena at Zone 6 High School revealed a shocking news of being beaten, kicked, and tossed around with to surrender her lunchbox. She mentioned that a, a gang of six bullies has humiliated her enough and dropping out of school was the only option. This is a lead paragraph. It is an introduction. I am telling you when it was a few days ago. What happened, Elena, where, at Zone 6, at Zone 6 High School? A did what? Revealed a shocking news, which was in brief. This is my introduction. My introduction. Now I am going to my prompts. Causes of bullying. School bullies usually want something from their victims, or disagree with other learners, or envy other, other learners. School bullying also occurs when some learners force others to tan 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 This is my first paragraph and my topic sentence is school bullies usually want something from their victims. Here I'm talking about the causes. And even my next sentence is talking about the causes. Okay. So be careful. Have a topic sentence. It can be a prompt but crafted in a correct way, in a certain way, for you to bring out the answers. I'm going on to my going to my third paragraph, which is on, on a prompt which says transgressions bullies commit. Try to understand the word transgression. Transgressions can be offenses that are committed. That is why here I had to say the offense committed by bullies include verbal abuse when they scold or call others names and physical abuse when they beat others. Furthermore, tan, 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 tan. look here, I did not just say the offense committed by bullies include verbal abuse, physical abuse. No, that is listing. I said verbal abuse. What is verbal abuse? When they scold or call others names. In physical abuse, I did not end there. I had to explain myself. This is when they beat others. Furthermore, I am supporting my topic sentence, which is the offense committed by bullies. Are we together? In conclusion, I'm now going to conclusion, but here I am guided by prompts. I am answering what learners should do when bullied. In conclusion, I'm using in conclusion to let my readers know that I am now ending my article. Learners must not be on mute while being bullied, as this may traumatize them. They must dun, 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 report to the necessary officers or whatever suggestion you have. In this conclusion, I did not bring out new ideas. Although I'm guided by a prompt, yes, I am answering a prompt, what learners should do, but I'm talking about that they should not be on mute because here, this learner discussed here has been battling with a uh, bullying and decided to what? To drop out of school because she felt humiliated. humiliated. She did not report. So my answer to what learners should do when bullied is Learners must not be on mute while being bullied, as this may traumatize them. They must report to the necessary offices. They must do this and that. You know the answers. This was just a direction. A 
and I know you will do it in a very creative way, a very beautiful way, because I trust you. Right, that was an example for you. Some uh, articles can be in a different way. The article can come in many different ways. Really, it depends on the question. <laughs> when learners see uh, pictures in articles, they become very scared, thinking that it's difficult, but it's seriously just the same way. Look at this format. It is asking you to write an article about writing competition. Mm. My letters are very small. You have read about the writing competition above. Write your entry to this competition. In your article, you should include what happened, why it was funny or exciting or strange, what you learned. Your article should be about 150 words. That is an article. Look at this one. This one includes drawings and comments. It's a different way of asking you to write an article. And here you are directed to write 200 words in length or more. Let me give you an example. Again, once more. Let's say you have a question asking you to write an article, an article then it reads, some teenagers believe that parents should give pocket money to their children. Some teenagers believe that parents should give pocket money to their children. On the next page, write an article for your school magazine in which you give your opinion on this matter. On the next page, write an article for your school magazine on this uh, matter, but give your opinion. The comments below may give you ideas, but you are free to use your own ideas. This year will teach us how to budget a bonus ticket to drugs and misuse of alcohol, help us to all look equal, love of material things, your article should be 200 words. Mm? The comments below should guide you or give you ideas, but you are free to use your own ideas. Good. An article of this kind is asking you to revisit the skills you learned on argumentative essay. An argumentative essay requires you to argue by giving out your opinions on the side that you support or the side that you oppose. Teenagers believe that pocket money is a good idea, so parents should give their, what? their children pocket money. What do you have to do here? First of all, go to the format. Rule number one, a short, interesting topic followed by a byline, that is the writer's name, and the date. Then the introduction. Now in the introduction of this kind of article, you are going to tell us your opinion. You are using words such as, I strongly support that parents should give their children pocket money or it is a very good idea, it's a, it is a brilliant idea for parents to give their teenagers money. Or I oppose that giving teenagers money is not a good idea. Then you support your introduction or you support your point of view. From my personal point of view, parents should uh, take uh, the concept of giving uh, pocket money to their children as a habit because it will teach children how to budget at an early age. When children know how to budget, they become good leaders 
who can handle money even when they are grown up. You did not just uh, uh, mention this comment, but you have mentioned it and developed it and added your own ideas. Or I do not agree to the statement that teenagers should be given pocket money. It will be a bonus ticket to drugs and misuse of alcohol. When teenagers are given money, we are already seeing that they are very irresponsible. When they get money, they will rush to bars, they will buy drugs, and they will even drop out of school. Things like that. You are just being directed. These are just same as the prompts. They are comments to direct you, but you are not forced to only stick to them. Help us to look equal. Pocket money help us to look equal, will help us to look equal because we are now given a chance to buy whatever you want and not to beg and not to look different from those kids who are given whatever they want. You are supporting. Or pocket money will teach uh, children to love or the love of material things. You are now opposing. Do not mix the two. You have to choose one side. What I'm trying to say is you have either to support throughout your sentence or to oppose throughout your sentence. It depends with the side that you have many points. Are we together there? The love of material things, a child would want money even when the parent cannot afford to give pocket money anymore. So see how you understand the question? Roughly, Think of how many points you have on each side. If you have mo many points on supporting the question, so support the question. If you have many points on opposing the question, oppose the statement. This question also, it's, it's, it's optional now. This question also wants you to have an although part. An although part is where you state but you said um, you bring in a little bit of another side, but you are still strongly supporting whatever you have su started supporting. For instance, you have been supporting that teenagers should be given uh, pocket money because of different uh, aspects that you think are good. They will become good leaders, they will know how to budget, they will look equal to those kids who, have, uh, who are given everything they want. Then, towards the end, you can have the although part. Although parents may think that teenagers will not be responsible, this is just a mere uh, speculation. It's an assumption. Teenagers are people who are able to, are at the stage of learning. If parents keep mentoring them on how to use money, they will obviously be successful uh, budgeters or successful people who know how to use money. I don't want you to say although teenagers should be given money, I know they will uh, end up loving material things or they will end up buying drugs. Now you are out of topic. You should support one idea throughout to the conclusion. So it depends with the level you are doing. If you are doing co cool, your article may go up to 150 words, like the example I showed you in the question paper. If you are doing extended, your article should go from 200 to 250 words. And if it is just uh, an ordinary level, when you are training, you may train yourself how to write 150 words to 200 words to 250, but know how to manage counting words because that is a challenge to many of you. I am so grateful that you listened attentively. Revise this lesson and please shake off that fear of thinking that an article is a monster or is an animal that is very confusing. No! Just follow the rules, read your notes and do further research on what we have discussed here because I want you to write very creative work and I know you can do it. Have a good day. Let us meet in the next lesson. I love you. Let us work hard. Bye bye.